you ever have those days when you just ain't feeling it and you get up and you're like man I just just can't get into it well that was this morning you know what I've got things to do so I took a shower man I feel better let's get some stuff done I have some things to ship Donna's not ready yet but we're gonna be running around later and we're gonna go like to the storage unit and she said she's in for that so she'll be later in the video but first I have some things to ship so let's go So looking around down here now, it ain't much different except, look at this, oh, big beautiful box. This is the only mess I have today of boxes, good old boxes. I was running really low before I got all those boxes from the other day and I had to order boxes. So I ordered from the boxery, that was the cheapest one I could find. So now I'm good on those size boxes for a while. All right, in the last video I showed you uh, that we had some really, really crappy eBay days, right? And that day, only like one thing sold. I filmed two days ago. Yesterday, we listed uh, something like 20 things. And we had like nine or ten things sell. So I have those things to ship out. And I'm hoping somebody pays. I just sold something a little bit ago. I uh, accepted a counter offer, And I'm hoping they pay so I can show you that too. Because it's a pretty cool little sale. Uh, but let's get into what we have today. Okay, first up, if you watched the video of the $250 buyout, if you remember, there was a little baggie and it had a bunch of little toys in it and it went something like this. I don't believe they're Transformers. I'm not sure what they are, but probably nothing too special. Well, I opened the baggie and I ended up sorting out those toys and listing them. And you know what? Two of them already sold for $15 a piece. These are Shogun Warrior action figures from, I think, the late 70s. Um, the one on the left is named Dragon. D-R-A-G-U-N, and the one on the right is Poseidon, and they sold for $15 each, so 30 bucks for those two little fellas, and we got several more items from that little baggie listed. All right, then in box 40, here's box 40, there should be a, a, oh here we go, Pyrex, Pyrex butter dish. This is a white Pyrex butter dish, and they have plastic lids, which is, you know, I thought unique. We sold one of these not that long ago, and this is the second one we had. Um, Pyrex number 75, I think, or 30, I'm not sure. So this is the second one that sold. This sold for $16 plus shipping right there. Next up in box LB, I went and got these two mugs. Check these out. These are two roosters or chickens, what would you say? What'd you call that? I'd say chickens. Or is that a rooster? I don't know. I'm not from the farm. I'm from the city. Uh, these are... I can't even pronounce this. There's a lot of letters. I, I'm not even going to try. W-A-E-C-H-T-E-R-S-B-A-C-H. Wechterabach? I don't know. West Germany. Anyway, those two mugs sold for $20 plus shipping. Got them at garage sale for a quarter piece. All right, next up, if you watch the record haul where we bought over a thousand records, this is from there. We're gonna get in our record drawer here and we're gonna dig a little bit. And we're going to find at some point, man, somewhere in here, there we go, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Houses of the Holy, sold for $25 plus shipping. Next up, we got a pair of shoes. We've had these shoes so long that when we got an offer for them for $20, I looked at Donna and I said, do you recognize these shoes? And she said, no. And we've had them on for a long time, so I don't even remember what we were asking for them, but yeah, we took the $20 just to get rid of them. All right, these actually came, I think, from the... Leslie buyout that we did from bought out our cousin's inventory a couple years ago a year and a half ago a year ago I don't know but anyway these are cat brand boots right there in very good condition but we sold those for $20 plus shipping all right now we got box J behind the boxes of course I just slid that over and they didn't fall yet. That's nice. Um, what's this? This is some shipping bags or something. Box J. Whoa, we're going to have an accident yet. 
Uh, let's just get in there. This is, oh man, maybe I should take it out. Box J, this is just ink. It's actually expired ink. That stuff still sells. This sold for $15 plus shipping. When did it expire? Um, November of 2021, so it's not that bad. So that's going out, $15. All right, just got two more things to show you, and they're both pretty cool sales. Um, let's go with the first one, box Q. Box Q, right? Look at it. Uh, J-K-L-N-O-P-P. -P. Oh, look, Q is right there behind my stack here. I'm going to dump this yet. Okay, so far so good. Box Q. Fun little story about this one. This is from this is from the two hundred fifty dollar buyout from just a few days ago. So I listed some of this stuff, and I believe it's this one right here. It is. Let me put this away. So we got all the statues, and I'm like, well, some of them are going to sell, you know, whatever. And the very first one I listed was the whales, and that's this right here. Um, but I looked, and it didn't have a really good sell-through rate. The sell-through rate was kind of crappy, so I listed it for $22.99, and I thought, that's at the lower end of what was listed. And I thought, well, it'll probably sell, get an offer for it or something at some point. And like 24 hours later, it sold for a full price of $22.99, so that's awesome. There we go. Home Co. Um, if hopefully I don't drop this. Donna would be mad at me. Woo. Home Co. It's 19.95. Finn Wales is what it's called. I better set it down before I do that too. So yeah, that's going for 22.99. Pretty cool piece, really. So this was 22.99. Those action figures were $30. That's 52.99 or so. Then I think with the dollar auction what I've listed. I sold $120, $140 on the dollar auction. So I think, I don't remember, I don't know exactly. Donna does all the keeping track of stuff, but I think we're getting really close to breaking even on that and we got a lot to go. So that's exciting. Okay. The last sale is a piece of clothing. Um, let me go grab it here. Number 937. All right. This is a Beetlejuice promo t-shirt. I'm going to post a couple pictures. I'm not going to take it out of the package, but this is a vintage single stitch Boo hoo, and I'll post pictures here showing you what it is. But when I got this shirt, we got it. A friend of ours just brought over a bunch of stuff for free and just dropped it off at the garage. And there was some promo t shirts, and there's a bunch of DVDs and stuff. And this shirt was in there vintage single stitch shirt promo. And I looked it up, and the only thing I could find like somebody had it listed for $250, and that's the only one I found, nothing else anywhere. So I listed for $175, turned on offers, thought. Whatever, I'll take about anything. I think right away we had one offer for like $50 or something. And I thought, no, it's, this is super rare. So I countered, never heard back from it. And it's been sitting there for a while. And then all of a sudden yesterday we get an offer for $70. I'm like, what is $70 for a shirt? And I look at it and it was listed as $175, but it sat for a long time. So I'm like, well, yeah, I'll take $70 for a shirt. So yeah, that shirt sold for $70. So that's super cool. Thank you, Keith and Bonnie. All right, I'm going to ship these things up and then we're going to get them out and then we got some running around to do. I got to pick up a album I won on the dollar auction for my own personal collection. Uh, I got an original ACDC back in black for $19. Happy about that. And then we're going to go to storage. We believe we have a clean out coming up in just a few days and we need to make sure Donna is actually making room in the garage and we're going to get some stuff from storage to make a little more room there and be ready for this clean out. So we will check in there i'm gonna film what the storage unit's looking like and what's going on out there let me check guess who's back back again uh, donna's back tell her friend oh and she tripped over the sign uh, where are you going donna I'm in a flat car come back come back say hi donna <laughs> That's, that's funny when you're videoing and all of a sudden somebody comes around the corner. Like, uh, okay, so there, Donna's back. She is still alive. Um, I'm not going to get too close because I have red eyes because I've been sick. Do you have any words of wisdom? 
No. <laughs> she does not. All right, here's our storage unit. Luke has been taking his stuff. So this was all, uh, it's not, lighting is not good obviously, but all this is Luke's. He's been here obviously taking his stuff. So we have all this, it's like Which is good. We want too him deep to. back here. Yeah, we want him to, that'll all be gone within the next couple weeks. And then we're wor still working on getting this. These are all empties, but we're still working on getting all the boxes and stuff out. Processed. Yeah, and with the clean out this weekend, we're trying to take some stuff home, sell, and get more space in here in case we have furniture, because I don't want to get another storage unit. I will if I need to, but don't really want to. So that's what we've got going on. And we're going to take all of my bubble wrap home. Yes. We got four rolls here. So I have my bubble wrap roll is empty, rack is empty, so two of them will go straight up. So oh. we're gonna get it all out of here and some more totes and boxes. And so, yeah, just trying to make progress. Here's the thing, you guys. Somebody said that we were kind of crabby to each other on a recent video <laughs> and we were That's... because I was cold and it was dark and he was being himself and i no anyway so we were crabby i was crabby so i'm sorry that you, you don't gotta apologize nobody that you guys got to see that because i don't want you she, to think that either of us abuses the other because we don't <laughs> i don't know sometimes i feel abused yeah <laughs> no no, because, she's got nobody to apologize to. It's all good. In the recent video, I threw a golf ball. Well, that's that true. Bad. If you happen to watch the end of the last video, I did get hit. I'm surprised I don't got a big lump on my head from the golf ball. You know what? what? Your analytics did say that a lot of people didn't watch that. Yeah. So go back and watch. Yeah, that's the funny thing. That last video, it's I think it was like 16 or 20 minutes long. The last four minutes is of me testing golf club, golf net. And she hits me in the head with a golf ball. So if you didn't stick around for that, go watch the last four minutes of that video. Seriously. All right, I want you to take your plastic stuff outside. I just want to keep filming you because nobody gets to see you. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this. We're going to wrap up the video because we, we got work to do. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure you all knew that she was still alive. So I'm Steve. Oh, We're Happy her. Heart Treasures. <laughs> She's fine. Um, she is definitely on the mend. She's about done being sick. So I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures. We'll see you on the next one, right? Bye. <laughs> Bye.